Well, this some bitch is an ear bleeder, if nothing else. So this is John's X0101. This is one um, again a month ago or so we red coated the fuel tank and the oil tank. Uh, you can see somebody's put a bead of some sort of goo on here. This is one of the early tanks that was epoxied only. It was not uh, screwed. Later ones, of course, they did go to screws, and that way you could fix it if. Uh, if one started to leak. These things were famous for you'd get the saw, you know, the, the bar pinched and you'd just reef on it to kind of pull it out. Well, without those screws, an epoxy would break and either the oil and or gas tank would start leaking. So, whatever this adhesive is, and I suspect it's an epoxy like JB Weld or something, it's holding the tanks together pretty well, but it did leak a little bit if I remember correctly. And John and I talked about that, so I went ahead and lined it with red coat. That stuff stays flexible, and fuel won't eat it. So, theory, we should be good to go. Uh, got a few things I still need to do to get the uh, oil line back into this one. Uh, I think I'll pop this drum off and go ahead and get uh, a fresh rim on there. I noticed as I was running here, this starter pulley is kind of wobbling around a little bit, so I'll check and make sure it's got a appropriate bushing. But the big thing on this saw was that piston and cylinder were just done. I mean, they were power done. So this has a fresh piston, fresh cylinder. She's been idling for the better part of 30 minutes. I've got it running uh, rich right now simply because I wanted to uh, make sure it got plenty of lube on break-in. And I had a lot of oil in there lubing everything up as I put it together. So flush all that out. Uh, it's running pretty clean right now, still a little rich on the low side, and I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, when John gets this back, yeah, I mean, you'll have to tune it, John, a little bit for your uh, your elevation and all of that, and especially once an air filter's on it. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's in pretty good shape. You hear it sounds awesome, this uh, homemade muffler that your dad put on here. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot of muffling, but it does sound pretty cool. Uh, kind of like a Harley on steroids or something. So a few things I've noticed, uh, like I say, I'll get the oil line done, got the new manual oiler button back on here, and I'll test that. It sounds good. I can, I can feel a little bit of a, a pulse right here, so it should be working okay. Do need to get an oil cap. This one has enough broken edges on it. I'm not sure that even a good O-ring on here is going to stop it from leaking so see what I can find out there for an oil cap uh, this wasn't shipped with a handle bracket and I noticed that the insert on this front uh, part of the handle is missing if you could just let me know John if that's still on the screw for that handle bracket if it is awesome that uh, won't be an issue what else? What else? Uh, the air filter bracket, as I recall, there was no air filter bracket or anything on here. So if we can just confirm all that up. Yeah, but anyway, it sounds good. And we're pretty close to getting it in the mail and heading back your way.